Hello and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you what I got. So my uh, Mookie Runs order came in and I got a bunch of cool stuff this time. The last one I filmed kind of didn't turn out that good. I was kind of just experimenting so hopefully this will this one will be better so i'm pretty sure this big bag is the chicken heads i got um i'll try and show you what i got without showing my address there so if you can see that so i got some processed quails they they're the quails that don't have any head, feet, or feathers, but they still have the organs inside of it. And uh, I got some more whole quail since the cats really enjoyed it last time. And I got some like uh, pre mixes, ground pre mixes. The ground roadie one is for Cracker since he really likes lamb, and uh, the ground duck and pork is uh, for Snormy, since Cracker doesn't like duck <laughs> with a passion. And there's some boneless beef chunks, and of course the chicken heads. So, I'll, yeah, I'll go through. I'm pretty sure this is the chicken heads. I don't know, <laughs> obviously I don't know what they look like, but yeah, since they're all frozen. And this one, well, this one looks like the one with some beef chunks. I'm actually kind of surprised it's smaller since it's the pork one I got was like a really big chunk. <laughs> this one uh, is a lot smaller, but I'm pretty sure it weighs the same as the pork. Well, it's supposed to anyway, but... Yeah, <laughs> I'm actually, I'm kind of surprised that it's smaller than uh, the pork was. <laughs> anyway, this is the card, date card. Here's one of the whole quails. Oh, sorry, if I, hopefully I'm in frame. <laughs> Here's the second one. Here's the two partially processed quails. Yeah. They're really, really tiny. Oh, I didn't realize I got two of each. Okay. <laughs> I only thought I, I thought I only grabbed one of each, but that's okay. It's good to have more. This one is, these two are the, uh, Roadie Snicks, the one with the lamb in it. Cracker is a huge fan of lamb, so anything else, he'll he'll eat it over anything else. I assume. Never really gave him the opportunity. <laughs> Maybe that'll be in a future video. And this one, usually I don't feed, uh, well I do feed, uh, um, raw fish occasionally, but usually a specific type. This one, you can't really, it just says fish. You can't really tell what type of fish it is. But yeah, that one's, these ones are, this one is for Stormy. I'll put these back in here for now. It actually works out pretty good because there's two of these ones and then two of these ones. Which is kind of weird because uh, I'm pretty sure it said it was a two pack. Mm, anyway, here's the boneless beef, the small five pound chunk, <laughs> and the chicken heads. These are obviously going to last a long time. Uh, they're only fifteen fifty, if you believe it, for. 10 pounds, I think this is, this. yeah, it's 10 pounds. Yeah. <laughs> I'll show you what, 
Oh yeah, I uh, got some stuff from the pet store too. I'll bring this over just so I can, just so there's bitter light. Okay, first off, we have some of Big, big Country Raw's uh, green beef tray in a four pound. Here are some rabbit ears. I usually like to feed uh, furry items for like the furry part. Usually people don't uh, add it into their raw, but I like to add it in just because uh, usually it's what comes with the whole prey. So I want to try and do my best to repli replicate it. And so these help with that. And this, I just decided to get some uh, key for, because usually the cats like drinking that for their probiotics. And these are the molds that go with it. This is from B Big Country Raw as well. I'm so glad the stores near me finally carry it. They never used to before. And uh, I think Big Country Raw has a lot, a lot of cool stuff. Uh, a lot of options. Next we have a pork organ blend. They haven't tried Big, Big Country Raw's organ blends before. Usually I just get carnivores, but since they already know what beef tastes like, I'm gonna try the, the pork organ blend. And this seems to be one pound of it. And that's pretty much it. I'll actually show you what I got in my freezer. Just for fun, I guess. <laughs> Just because I don't want this to be another short haul video. Like usual. <laughs> I swear they get shorter and shorter each time I make them. My haul videos. <laughs> it's kind of funny. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't have a light attachment to this. It is coming in the mail, though, um, from Amazon. So I'm excited for that. I'm excited to film more uh, feeding videos with this new camera here I have. So, we have in my freezer, in my freezer, we have a big pork bone-in shoulder roast. We did get this from a food bank order, but we didn't end up eating it, so I just suggested that, hey, maybe we can give it to the cats. They'll, they'll really like it, and they agreed. And yeah, there's that. So they have a big thing of pork and a big thing of beef now. <laughs> Those are the, their two most common proteins that I give them. And the other one is chicken. And here, I'm pretty sure I have some liver, along with some turkey liver that was left over from uh, Christmas and New Year's. We have some whole prey here. This was uh, actually pinky mice that I was gonna uh, transition Daisy the dog with. But at the same <laughs> at the same time, uh, she started not to chew her food and choke on it. So yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll give these to the cats. Yeah, she's getting she's getting Ill, old, so she doesn't really chew all that much anymore. And uh, the I still have some quail eggs left. There's only two left, unfortunately. But we, I can still probably steal the chicken eggs from the humans if, I, if need. This is a leftover uh, kefir yogurt, I think, that I have yet to feed them. This is one whole rat pup. They're actually bigger than I originally imagined. <laughs> If you go to my very first uh, whole prey feeding video, the rat pup in there was like super small. Now they're huge like this. 
I got these from my local pet value. By the way, all the my rodents. This is a leftover uh, mouse weanling. Weanling? <laughs> I don't know, it's just a really tiny mouse. I forgot what it was. And these have uh, three frozen jumbo adult mice. They did have some uh, other, I think, smaller whole prey mice, but they ate those ones up. And vegetables for the dogs. This is some leftover Cornish hen breast, I think. Um, this is some leftover turkey giblets. This is some un uncooked green lipped mussel that I have to cook uh, for the cats still. This is, oh, some canned mackerel and tomato sauce. Don't worry, the tomato sauce uh, in the fish is uh, perfectly safe. The only thing you don't want to feed is the unripe tomato and the green stem of the tomato. Those are the only things you have to watch out for. And this is some leftover, I think, Cornish hen bones or other miscellaneous bones. <laughs> I forgot what was in here. I think there's some Cornish hen, duck, and turkey. I might give one of these. Um, chicken hearts to the cats. I originally bought them from myself. But I think I might be generous because they like chicken they like chicken hearts too. And these these are some scad fish with the head on still. These uh, are the ones that I researched that don't have thymonase in it. And I got two of these, and they don't have the insides too, because I'm pretty sure that's what makes them stink the most. And so <laughs> I'm actually thankful that they're uh, gutted, because I hate the smell of sardines. They're like the worst smell on the planet. <laughs> Hopefully somebody else agrees with me. Apparently, I still have some turkey feet left over for the bigger dogs. I thought I uh, gave them all. And this is some Cornish hen feet from like uh, one or two months ago that I bought from Pet Value. They also carry Big Country Raw, with, which I'm very thankful for. And since, uh, Global Pet Foods carries them now, I don't, uh, and there are a lot, have a lot more variety of brands. I might start going there more often instead of um, Pet Value, because the 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 aisles are so skinny and crowded that you can't even have two people in the same aisle. So. That's not that safe, so. Yeah. And plus, the people at the. Um, this is just some leftover daisy food that I'm gonna feed to the cats. They still have some in the upstairs fridge as well. These were originally for <laughs> Daisy, but I ended up not feeding them to her and mostly. Uh, feeding her prey model raw. So, uh, yeah. Maybe I can give them a treat every now and again. Even if I don't eat a full barf diet. Or B-A-R-F. And that's pretty much it. Almost forgot about the liver. I hope you liked this video. 
and if you did like subscribe and share uh, I do have a new playlist that features all of my other haul videos that I did I don't know I like watching people see what they they got in their raw orders so I don't know I guess I I hope people like the ones I make <laughs> anyways that's all bye Obviously, I'm not gonna freeze these. <laughs> we'll put, go put these in the closet. And I also forgot to mention, I've been trying the cats on these. Oh, it's backwards. <laughs> I've been trying the cats on these small uh, new Z Peak line. So far, they've loved the Kawaii. Oh, wait. No, it's not right. Come on. <laughs> East Cape, yeah, that's the one that they really, that they uh, like the most so far. Obviously, I've yet to try them on this, it hasn't been opened yet. So, yeah. I don't know what they think of this yet, but so far they like the... I'd, oh yeah, the other one I tried was the... It's the Provenance series, by the way. Cool. Yeah. I don't know if that matters. Oh, the uh, Otago Valley? That's the one, the, se the second one they tried? I'm actually kind of surprised. It has all the red meats in it, and the, they didn't seem to like it that much. <laughs> they weren't as uh, excited about this one as they were uh, the East Cape one. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> Before my storage runs out, it's on a small SD card. Okay. Um. Hmm. Do I really need this if I'm feeding green tripe? Hmm. Maybe we'll save it for another time. Or like a treat or something. I kind of want to try it out though because of the new mold. <sighs> Because of the new molds that I got? But I don't know. I'll probably be adding... I'll probably be adding their green tripe as part of their meats. So maybe another time. Oh yeah, I still need to defrost this too. Hi. I'm just putting most of my stuff away. Hey, hey, hey. You did? Yeah. <laughs> She'd be like, say hi to Blair. Huh? Hi. Are you on? Yeah, I'm on. Oh. <laughs> I got to it. <laughs> I just wanted you to hear my voice. <laughs> What's wrong with your face? <laughs> There's nothing wrong with it. Mm, I guess. Uh, anyway, that's all. See ya. Say bye. Bye. <laughs>